Welcome back to Mothership Green. Here we are, lovely sunny day again. I'm on board Falcon and um, we've been doing a little bit of work over the winter. New blacking and a couple of little touch-ups here and there. This boat is owned by Polly and Tom. They are the oldest teenagers I know. They disappear in the summer and they go wandering all round and um, they come back seriously loved up. It's wonderful to see. Um, we had some issues with the batteries and because Tom and Polly are forward thinking people, they said, well, let's have a look at some lithium. And we've taken out the lead carbon batteries and we've put in a lithium solution. So I'm going to show you that. But um, I'm on the hatch here now. Underneath the hatch are two Brompton bikes that slide away. So come over and we'll have a look. So lifting the fiberglass hatch up, Nice and light, although I seem to make a big deal of it. You see the two Brompton bikes there, one of them standing up and then the other one is in a little drawer that slides out on the side there. So I'll take those out and then I'll show you the batteries in a tick. 30 seconds later, well, more like a minute really, I'm down in the engine room and I'm going to take the camera from Kerry and show you around. There hasn't been an awful lot of disruption despite the amount of work going on. So there's the hospital silencer that didn't move. There's the calorifier that didn't move. Here's the generator that didn't move. A new addition here is the Lynx distributor on the starboard side of the hull. Now that is slave one to slave four and all of those red cables in there and um, with the black ones behind go to each of the battery terminals. Now there are four slaves and one master. Each of those has a 125 amp fuse protecting it before it gets to the main bus bar. And the main bus bar, the big terminals at the end there that have 120 millimeter square cables taking it through to the main bus bar. Now, down here, this white box was always there. Now, underneath there was lead carbon batteries, but lo and behold, now, they are lithium batteries. These lithium batteries are waterproof, IP67 rated, CAN bus, and um, they all link together, and it's rather lovely. Now, I'll just take this one off here, and um, there's five of them in total, the master on the end. If I press that blue button on the master, all of those other ones will go off and it'll be fine. Now I'm going to pass you up to Kerry again. So down the stairs in Falcon now, before I show you the display, I just want to explain to you the process of taking out the old batteries and putting in the new ones. So the old ones were lead carbon, they're two volt cells, and there were 24 of them, and each one of them weighs over 35 kilograms. Together they weigh about 800. They are being replaced by five lithium batteries, um, similar power outcome at the end of the day in terms of kilowatt hours. Those lithium batteries only weigh about 50 kilograms each. So we had to make up the weight, otherwise the boat would be badly trimmed. So what we've done is that we've got steel. Steel is nice and dense, specific gravity of about seven, something like that. Lead would have been better, but it's so expensive these days. We cut them the, the lengths of steel into ingots and then we painted them and we put those onto the floor and then the batteries on top of them. So uh, the, the boat is trimmed exactly the same and it all worked out rather nice. That solution is excellent if you're taking out a diesel motor and putting in an electric motor with batteries as well. So I'll just take the uh, camera from Kerry and you can see here that um, we've got the battery situation here state of charge 99 I've turned the immersion on so that we've got a little bit of activity going on in the AC um, you can see the uh, inverter is inverting and the PV charge nearly 900 there so that's a good day for it this red square with nothing going on is because there's nothing going on there there's no generator input or there's no shore charge input and incidentally, nice new feature here, the windmill and the uh, solar uh, uh, icon there means that if you are plugged into the shore, so there's activity up here, it will prioritise the sun overtaking it from the shore. So that's a nice thing to have. Uh, back to Kerry. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching all of that. 
I hope it's of interest. If you would like to know a little bit more, please get in touch. And that's me, Tim Knox, over and out again. Bye-bye.